Thomas and Max Center for tonight's main event. Ten rounds of heavyweights. Great atmosphere here tonight. You talk to everybody ringside, and they expect this one to be a barn burner. Rusher's got his eye on the prize. Look at that focus and determination during his ring walk. Bulldog's entourage has that look on their face. They know they've put the work in, and you can see. The opening three minutes of this 10-round fight. Overhand right can be so effective. Bulldog's landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. Good block by Bulldog. Crusher's right hand did a nice job that time. That worked well for him. Tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. Heading into this fight, we talked about what each man can do offensively. What each man wants to do is have varied punches throughout. Exactly, and what he doesn't want to do. He doesn't want to be predictable. Frustrating his opponent with great defense. Halfway through this round here. Keep it going. His opponent wanted the body. He wouldn't give it to him. Good body shot. The right hand came home. Targeting the uppercut, and it worked. Unable to land clean by Bulldog. Able to dismiss that body shot. Cut right on the mark. Ten seconds to go in this round. End of the round here. Here we go. Round two is underway. And that's what fighters do. Pulls the trigger right away after taking one. Right to the belt line. A nice block by Crusher. Right back to the midsection. Good block there by Crusher. A thunderous punch able to land to the head. So he thought he was out of range. He wasn't. Teddy, I don't think he's got visions of sticking around too long. He's landed power punches early. Yeah, he wants to make it a quick night's work. Rushers impressing the judges and himself with that right hand. Halfway through round number two. shot in. Bulldogs jacked up by an uppercut. He got hit, but he sends it right back. And now he's targeting upstairs. And that's the end of round two. And round number three is underway. Keep doing what you're doing. 
Crusher's jab can do so much there. He used it well that time. Way to block there. Comes right back with some offense of his own. Able to dismiss it. Takes one, gives one. The right hand scores well. Trying to go downstairs, but off target. Able to cover up that gut. And he just turns that hook up top, and it does damage. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. Solid uppercut. Comes right back with a shot of his own. Boy, that worked out well with the uppercut. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Blocks that punch. Crusher's defense is now serving him well. Nice job blocking that punch. He takes a shot and then commits to giving one right back. Boy, sharp two-punch combination by Crusher. And this round comes. Three rounds completed here as we take a look at Teddy's scorecard for the first time. see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, boxing one-on-one, counter-punching. You got a guy coming at you, no better way than to change his mind. Make him miss, make him pay. He took a shot, but he came back with a right hand of his own. Rusher's combination punching is working well here. Working the job. Accurate shot, straight right hand comes in. Come on, kid. 90 seconds to go in round number four. That right hand by Bulldog. He brings an uppercut that really does damage there. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Rusher's lucky he just got away with one there. He just snuck in a headbutt. Bulldog's trying now to resort to dirty tactics. That was a low blow. Fourth round now with its last 10 seconds. <laughs> round number five has arrived. To the head he goes with a left hand. Bulldog's defense. Is it ever good? Look at how easy he's able to block those punches. That is boxing 101. A nice crisp combination by Bulldog. Smart punch right there. The uppercut works. Bulldog showing a little bit of a defensive shell, but Teddy, I'm seeing punches still getting through and splitting that guard. Yeah, well, that's the problem, Joe, when you put those earmuffs on, but you don't move your head. Some of them are going to get through, and just as importantly, you handcuff yourself, so your opponent is going to stay in there a little bit longer, knowing that nothing's coming back right away. Rusher's coming up with the answers, avoiding that punch. Still plenty of time to work here in round number five. Minute and a half to go. Good shot to the head with that right hand. Right to the body.
Nice work with the uppercut. There you go. That's what I want to see. Rusher's right hand scores well that time. Cover up, cover up! Coming to the end of round number five, last ten seconds. That was yet another... We heard that, Joe. Not three minute, five minute rounds. He's getting the benefit right now of that. Nowhere close that punch by Crusher. Crusher's on the inside landing hooks now. Boy, his opponent, I'm surprised he's not able to defend himself better than that. A well-placed overhand right. That is exactly what the corner wanted to see. A good combination punch by Crusher. Oh, he took some damage, but he gave some back with the right hand. Right to the belt line. Good return fire that time. Rusher's able to avoid that punch. Left and right. Keep moving. Keep moving. Keep working the body. Halfway through round six. Flush right hand to the body. What he can do when he sends that right to the head. Don't walk into his punches. And now committing to that midsection as the target with the combination punching. Here's a moment here as you see the step back counter punch where you realize this is the sweet science, not just some raw savagery swinging out there. Look at the little subtleties here, Joe. What he does is he forces him into a position to stop the punch. And then when he stops, steps back, makes a miss, and comes right back. Bulldog's taking a lot of punishment with the right hand. Teddy, you've said many times, it's where you put your own head when you get hit by those right hands. Well, one place I can tell you where not to put it, in the middle. And he needs to move it to the left outside that right hand. Boy, another solid round. As another round gets underway, it gets us thinking, how much more of this will we see? Hard to envision this fight going the distance with how lopsided it's been. the uppercut, one of my favorite punches, and it works that time for him. Rusher's doing a nice job being comfortable on the outside. Fires right back at him. Bulldog's not coming up with the results that you would want to see out of him. Now, he's trying to counterpunch Teddy, but it doesn't seem to be the answer. No, he kind of looks a little bit like that guy who went in to get his hair dyed, you know? And he thought, he thought it was going to be just a little bit lighter, and it wound up being a lot lighter. And he said, wow, what the heck did I do? I didn't think I was going to look like this. I didn't think that I was going to box like this. And he returns on that exchange. Right hand downstairs. Oh, you see him with the left of the head there? Very accurate with the overhand right. Oh, what a whiff by Bulldog. Bulldog's right hand scores well. Rusher's putting his punches together now. That's Bulldog's a big shot there. Late goings here this round, and he goes down. Can he survive it? Three. Stand up, stand up. And the bell rings. Teddy's scorecard shows Rusher's up.
No doubt about that. The past few rounds we've seen, he has just extended his lead. He has gained all momentum in this fight. Yeah, he's very confident. He's got everything working. Obviously, he's in great shape, and he's following his game plan. Nice work on the right hand by Bulldog. Bulldog's out to show everybody that he's fine. But we saw what happened in the last round. He was knocked down in that last round. Does he have to prove something to himself as well as proving something to everybody in this arena? Well, that's the right question, Joe. He's got to revisit his memory banks a little bit and know that he's already proven it to himself. He's been in this position before, so he has to regain that confidence and understand that he can deal with this. He's done it before. Russia's putting forth a great combination there. Oh, he just misses with that head. He got caught by that, and yet another big shot comes in. He just went down. The in-fighter went out, and now he went down. Hey, it's okay to go out, but go out the side door. He went out the front door, and as you said, maybe he's paying the ultimate price.